right, so you just got your Logitech G Pro Wireless and you're loving it to death, but you do notice that you're just not comfortable with the skates that are on it, uh, also known as the feet. Well, there are companies that are already manufacturing new feet for these. Um, I know a lot of people have said that it's loud. I don't really notice it, especially with the Sennheiser mouse pad that I'm using now. Uh, but there is a company that's come to the rescue for those that do want new skates, uh, and that's going to be Hotline. I got these on eBay for $6.39, uh, and I think if you spend enough, it's free shipping, but I had to pay a little bit in shipping. Anyway, though, it does come with uh, two sets, so everything included is a cloth to clean with. Uh, you have your two sets of feet, and these are super smooth so i'm kind of excited to try these even though i'm i'm actually satisfied with the uh oem feet and then you have also some cleaner because you do want to clean the sticky off of it and then of course a little brochure that's going to tell you hey they also sell other items uh a <laughs> generic looking zowie uh mouse bungee as well as some other stuff so Definitely check them out on eBay. I'll put a link down in the description. But we're going to go ahead and uh, put these on. I've never done it myself. So this will be new for me. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the one thing I will say you will need are going to be tweezers and a clean set of hands. So make sure you wash your hands. Because you're going to mess with something that you don't want coming undone. You know, you're going to have the adhesive side. Uh, so when you're messing with the new ones, you don't want any grease, oil, Anything like that that's going to stop it. And then I would recommend turning a ceiling fan off, but I'm in Arizona and it's hot as hell. I'm not turning a single fan off in my apartment. But uh, I do recommend it uh, so that way there's no dust that's going to come between the mouse and the mouse feed. But let's go ahead and get started with this. Little notches here, you're gonna take them out with the tweezers. There is definitely resistance when you're pulling the old ones off. But don't be afraid to really kind of have at it with it. Now we're going to take the large one off. Okay, everything's exposed. alcohol I actually don't recommend doing this on the mouse pad that you're playing with but it's a little late now for that am I right All right, let this, while you're doing this, let it air dry for about 30 seconds. That way the alcohol dries. Let it get trapped underneath the new feet. Here's the new pads. Oh, and we can't forget the sensor. Be very careful around the sensor as well. Try 
try not to get your fingerprint on the adhesive. There's the first one. Definitely helps using the tweezers to keep everything kind of centered. Like putting on contacts almost. Uh, not fun. And the last one, the actual sensor mouse feed. You're gonna press this in and that's it give it a go super super easy guys only almost seven dollars and that's it man once these wear in we'll definitely uh i'll comment below and uh see if there's any noticeable difference but for the money i say it's definitely worth it uh for the most part your your standard mouse gates are never truly good uh, you're going to have your third party companies that are going to come out with better Teflon material. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions on it. Uh, I was a little sloppy with it, but it turned out uh, perfectly fine for me. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, have any comments, uh, share them and hit the like button if you like this. Thanks again. Have a good day, guys.